But it is, do you? It's a record. Come on. Give me. What's the picture? Oh, uh, it's Geneva. My father lives there. Oh, that is it. Dear Catherine, play this at 45 revolutions. You will be surprised to hear that Nicole and I are getting married on the 25th of this month, Saturday. I know how fed up you must be with my endless weddings, but we'd both love you to be there if you can. I don't know how things are between you and Marcello at the moment. You are always off and on, according to your letters. But if you do decide to come, you will meet the most extraordinary young American who has been staying with us, the son of an old friend of mine from San Francisco. His name is Gregory. He's an utter maniac, very likable, intelligent, great fun, six foot two, and guess what? Unattached. He's been a very good influence on your brother. Now he's dying to meet you, to see the effect he can have on you. Let me know what time you arrive. I will be at the airport to meet you. Or if I'm not able, who knows? I may send Gregory. Much love. Your much-married old dad. Are you going? <laughs> Why not? It sounds fun. Oh, it'll be fun. Father's weddings always are. How many times has he been married? Five. He has a very romantic nature. Oh. I bet you do go. <laughs> no, I'm very happily settled here. Manuelo? Marcello. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Bye. Hey! You've left Marcello behind. Don't 
leave your dreams or you may find all that you want is left behind nothing remains when dreams have gone so close your eyes and then dream on dearest father I'm not coming to Geneva. Sorry. I'm very happy with my Marcello and my life in Rome. He still wants us to get married. But as I tell him, you get married enough times for both of us. Thanks for the romantic invitation. It's a good try. A few years ago, I'd have jumped on the first plane. But not now. I wish you both every happiness, as usual. Your loving Catherine. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few minutes we shall be landing at Geneva. Would you please fasten your seat belts and refrain from smoking? Thank you. Hello, Father? Hello, Catherine. Where are you? Geneva. Didn't you get my telegram? Yes, and your letter as well. But we didn't know whether you were coming or not. Really? Anyway, I can't come and fetch you. I'm having a checkup. <laughs> yes, the doctor says I'm good for ten more marriages. <laughs> That's encouraging. Well, I might have known there'd be no one here to meet me. Well, I can't. And you know your brother. He wouldn't. No. What about Gregory? Yes. He might be there for all I know. <laughs> Look around. You can't miss him. He always wears a leather jacket and jeans. I think they are the only clothes he has. I've never seen him wear anything else. Well, he's got a funny little car. <laughs> it looks as if he'd painted it himself. He drove all the way from Gibraltar in it, non-stop. Did you like my postcard? Huh? <laughs> I've just bought a recording company. Catherine? Extraordinary young American. His name is Gregory. He's an utter maniac, very likable, intelligent, great fun, six foot two, and guess what? Unattached. Hi. You been waiting long? Nope. <laughs>
La señorita Catherine, ¿verdad? Sí. Nosotros trabajamos en su casa. Oh. Somos españoles las dos. Buenos días. Buenos días. Yo soy Paquita. Encarna. Um, uh, luggage in taxi. Sí, sí, enseguida, ah, sí. señora. Oh, ¿Es papá en la casa? No, señorita. Ha salido, pero vendrá pronto. Oh, Miss Catherine, there's been a phone call from Rome. Oh, How are lovely you? to be home again. Lovely to see you. I'm afraid your father is out. Oh, yes, I know. And Danielle? No tenemos una habitación preparado para la señorita. Master Daniel, get up. Your sister's here. Señorita, uh, han telefoneado desde Roma. Oh, thank you. Um, is there a guest in house? Guest? Guest? Hospita. Ah, ah, sí, 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 el señor Gregory. Sí. Pero no es regular. ¿Y dónde está ahora? No sometimes sé. he's here and sometimes he's not. Oh, yo. That's mine. I was going to come and meet you. I made sure they called me. I, I got up, I had a bath, got dressed, even found my shoes and put them on. And you fell asleep? No. Just couldn't get out of the room. How do you find me? You look much older. <laughs> no, it's not true. You look... You look wonderful. I just said that to get at you first, before you could tell me that I'd got fat or something. Oh, I wouldn't say you were fat. Oh, well, I ought to be. I never get out. There's so much chocolate in my room. Oh, Dan. You haven't changed, have you? I keep meaning to take some exercise. But I never do. Well, you know me about going outside. <laughs> no offense, but it's just that I can't pass people. Especially myself. Really, I'm very happy you're here. Look, I've come out to see you. Father oh, ought to get married more often. Oh, I love you. You still don't wash behind your ears. Here we go again. I was going to wash them tomorrow for the wedding, but please don't start on me now. Here. Wedding present. Where do you get that marvelous turn? Rome. Mm -hmm. You know, I always tell everyone that I have this sexy sister who lives in Rome and she's driving the Italians out of their minds. Indeed. I'm not joking. I carry your picture with me wherever I go. They believe me? That's right. I lost it when I was showing it to Gregory. What he said about it? No. What did he say about it? I 
I've forgotten. Max told me about him. Said he was a very good influence on you. Who? Mm. Gregory. Good influence? Yes. He even got me out of the house once. How did he do that? I don't know. Damn. Wait a minute. It was something to do with shoes. Oh, well, you know me. Shoes have always been a problem with me. Well? Look, if you keep interrupting, I shall lose my thread. Have you seen the new car Father bought? No. Typical. Supposed to be an engagement present for Nicole, so he drives it himself. Where was it? Shoes. Mm, the car. That's right, the day it was delivered, I was alone in the house and Gregory turned up. What was he wearing? I didn't know clothes. Leather jacket and jeans? No, 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 ordinary clothes. Leather jacket and jeans. Look, is this my story or yours? Well, how about it? Are you coming or aren't you? Come on. Come out and see the world. Why? Anyway, I can't find my shoes. What do you mean? Your wardrobe's full of them. Oh, I know, but they're all new. I like the old ones, you know, the ones I always wear. You don't mean the red ones, do you? I'm sure I saw them somewhere. No, where? Of course, on the pavement. You mean on the pavement? Yeah, downstairs as I was coming in. You'll go fetch them for me. No, forget them, they're in terrible shape. It's not important to know how. Take off the handbrake. Put it in drive. That's it. Press down. You're away.
Okay, now I'll do a laying off. Who? Huh? Leonov, the Russian. The first guy to walk in space. What? You keep going, I'll be right back. The faster the better, and whatever you do, don't touch the brake. Don't worry, I don't know where it is. something Max called him. You never told me what he said about my picture. When? You showed him my photograph. Oh, he was staggered. He said you were beautiful. You said... <laughs> I must be in love with you. Did he? You haven't taken into your head to go to bed with me, have you? You can tell me nothing would shock me anymore. Would you do a thing like that to help me? Oh, no, I know why you are yourself all set up down there in Rome. You're afraid of me. Well, if you, <clears throat> if you really want to know, well, uh, I'm... Afraid of you? If you you talk, you talk about me. You, you, what, you talk about me want, wanting to go to bed. Want, wanting to go to bed with with, with you? Oh, he, I, oh what? Now, would it make you happier if I went away again? <laughs> you see, it's not just it's not just you that I'm afraid of. All women. Bother me. If it's Rome, say I'm not in. Marcello. Mm. Oh, I must remember. Hello? Oh. 
Do you want to speak to her? All right, I'll tell her. Who is it? He'll pick you up in half an hour. Who? Father. What's that? Oh, it's just that I promised Marcello I'd get some. He doesn't like Italian vinegar. Oh, I didn't think he'd bother with things like that. Doesn't he beat you and bite you on the neck, that kind of thing? Hmm? No, he's very correct. Oh, how disappointing. Are you happy with him? Yes, he's part of my life. Mm, which part? <laughs> Finish your story. When she's around, it's always... Daniel, why don't you get out in the fresh air, or... Father Daniel doesn't wash behind his ears. But she's ruined my life. I wouldn't mind giving her a chance to ruin mine. Uh, men like my sister. I mean, she likes men. It's, it's always ready. She can't get enough. That's come. That's to bed. Still want to meet her? Yeah? Well, go down to Rome. Get in the queue. Good looking fella, you'll drive her out of her mind. Why did you say all those stupid things about me? Jealous, yeah, I suppose. Of him? Or me? I thought you were coming with us. Changed my mind. Say hello to Bluebeard for me. You're looking your best. Tanned. Beautiful. You're a great credit to me. <laughs> You're a great credit to me. And how do you find Danielle? He told me the most incredible story about Gregory getting him out of the house. Yes, wasn't it extraordinary? After that, he asked me to get him a motorbike. Wanting to be like Gregory, I suppose. It's his latest craze. You know your brother. The first day he went out on it, he came back on foot. <laughs> <laughs> no idea where he left it. Oh, I hope you bought him a new one. You're as bad as he is. <laughs> You're both spoiled. Feel her up, please. What's Marcello like, huh? <laughs> He's rather like you. Sensible girl. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, why were you so keen on me coming to your wedding? Well, I thought you might find it amusing. The arrangements are rather novel. They always are. You didn't have to come. No, but you always managed to make me. I love you. I never see you. You've been two years in Rome and... 
Well, we write on phone occasionally, but uh, it isn't the same, and uh, I have only one daughter. Well, it worked. What worked? Telling me about Gregory. Yes, it did, eh? And you knew it would. <laughs> of course I knew. Well, I'm here. Where's Gregory? Goodness knows. Well, you can meet him tomorrow at the wedding. I promise you won't be disappointed. He's very bright. His whole family is. They entertained me royally when I was in San Francisco. Heaven knows how they produced a madman like him. What's so mad about him? Oh, the other day he came to ask me if he could make a record. <laughs> and I let him have one of our studios. And I told Nicole to look after him. Well, she got the recording manager to book an orchestra of 30 players. Gentlemen, you may go. All I need is the two guitars and my pal here. One, two, three. Play it back at double the speed and we'll record with the playback. What he was going to call it. Do you know what he said? 
Catherine. And here to present the golden disc to Gregory Valve for his hit number, Catherine, is the girl to whom it is dedicated, Miss Catherine Morelli. I have a little business to tend to. You pop up and fetch Nicole. I'll meet you at the boat. Catherine. problem will be to introduce you. It sounds a little strange to say, my daughter Catherine. <laughs> Especially as I'm a year older than you. <laughs> and what about Daniel? Does he turn up to these weddings? Yes, he does usually. I must get ready. Max said a half past one. Radio Genève. Gregory, you might at least take off your boots. in the apartment, is there? What? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing is just my imagination. A man. You're as bad as Max. He always looks in the wardrobe first. He's even suspicious of Gregory. Is he staying in a house or not? Well, I'm never quite sure. He's a bit of a gypsy. <laughs> well, someone must know where he is. Gregory's mad about you, didn't you know? He's always talking about you. Only yesterday he asked me whether you were coming. Really? Next to Nicole, the second witness, Count Champroux. Yes? Now. 
Warden. I made an exception with him. A banker's even closer than a friend. Here. Catherine, on his right, to take care of him. Custel's daughter, the one who never stops talking, we'll pair off with Daniel. What the hell is that? It's the cake. Oh, yes, of course. Of course I miss Gregory. I'll put him right here, darling, next to you. Disappointed he didn't come. Who? Gregory. You're not the only one. <laughs> Max, you are funny. I haven't even met him. How can I be disappointed? <sighs> he must be a magician. Gregory? To have such a hold over you all. 
He is very entertaining. Well, I'm not under his spell. Maybe he didn't come because he didn't have anything to wear. Maybe he didn't know you were coming. He must have known. Darling, nobody knew. Your father is getting married. Of course not. I'm used to it. He does it all the time. <laughs> this time, I think it's really going to work. Yes. I think you're exactly what he needs. Time for me to settle down. I've had such an untidy life. And Max is very well organized. We have a wonderful understanding. Have you slept with Gregory? the truth. Is that the reason why he didn't come to the wedding? Anyone would think that you were lovers, you and Gregory. <laughs> no chance of that. I'll never meet him now. <laughs> Maybe it's better. You could be disappointed. Isn't it time that you married Marcello? And settle down? Not yet. Coming! Where are we going? It's a secret. He won't even tell me. I don't think I want to go. Of course you must. Come on, and try to enjoy yourself.
What about that, eh? She's enjoying herself. So, there you are. Tell your sister to drive you home.
Where are you going? On our honeymoon. Gregory is. I've just remembered. 42 Rue de la Cade. Uh, no, no, you must believe me. Everything's all right. 32 Rue de la Cat. Oh, I am an idiot. It's 22. Well, I mean, 32 and 22, they're easy to mix up. Come on. Why don't we try 12? Or two while we're about it. No, no, no. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure it was 42. There must be another street. Which one? I mean, there's nothing but streets around here. But 
Oh, never mind. Come on. Let's go home. I've had enough. Oh, Dan, you're impossible. You never remember anything. Now try. Rack your brains. I don't know. I don't know anything. I didn't say anything. Oh, take me home. I want to go home. I'm beginning to think he doesn't exist. Probably not. What do you mean, probably not? You've all met him. Everyone's got some little story to tell about him, particularly you. Then he does exist. Well, then where is he? He can't be someone you've all dreamed up. Oh, we've... we've dreamed up? <laughs> oh, I... You coming home or not? Oh, there's the barn. Yeah, and he works in the bar, in the, and in, in the, in the, oh, in the, not far in the square, that, oh, what's yeah. the name of that square? No, no, you Don't know the one, the one with again. the cocoa lamps, or the, or the Art Nouveau ones. What bar, what square, what chap? Be specific. I've got it! It's called, it's called, it's called, oh, no, it's called the blue, the blue, no, 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 the, 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 the red, the, the red dragon. Oh, that's it! Well, the barman, he's a friend of Gregory's. What did I tell you? What are you doing? There's no open till six o'clock. <laughs> I thought you said it was the red dragon. Oh, I got the wrong animal. It can happen. I've sat on this bench before. Almost certain. Well, if it's not this one, it's one very like it. You're meant to affirm my cello. Do you want to? I see him every day. Do you still make love together? All the time. Ever been unfaithful before? Before what? Before Gregory. I haven't been unfaithful with Gregory yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> but that's what you came for, wasn't it? You didn't come for the wedding, you came to meet Gregory. Vinegar, please. Uh, the you write, ma'am, Jill.
I'm looking for an American. Gregory Mulvey. If you don't know. Saya tidak ngerti bahasa Inggris. Dia mencari seorang kawannya. Kau kah yang ditanyakan tadi? Tak mengerti saya apa yang dibilang tak mengerti bahasa Inggris kok. Dia mencari kawannya seorang pemuda Amerika yang bernama Gregory. Ah, Gregory. Itu saya tahu. Panggil dia. Bilang sama dia, turut saya. Please, follow him. Nanti, belok kiri. Lewat gang, keluar pintu, ada tempat terbuka, dan di sebelah sana, masuk gudang. He's a landlord. We're looking for Gregory. Gregory? He rents that. Wasn't it you that was here before asking about Gregory? Was it? Oh, yes, yes. Then it must have been your motorbike that was left here. Oh, I left it here. Over there. Oh. What? Gregory? Who knows? Can I wait here? If you like. Is this all Gregory's? Yes. He's my partner. Oh. Does it sell well? 
Yes, it seems to. What exactly is inside? Air, of course. It... <laughs> Look. <laughs> well, it's uh, a business like any other, isn't it? We send these all over the world. Naturally, you can't smell it here in Switzerland. But if you were in Montevideo, for example, or in, or in Cairo, you... how do I know that you're a friend of Gregory's? Uh, what does he look like? You don't know, do you? No. You tell me. Tell you? I... I'll tell you, all right. He's... He, he's an American. And that bed is too short for him. When did you last see him? I'll tell you when. I saw him when he came to pick up his kit bag. Yes, but when was that? What was he wearing? A leather jacket? No, no. He was wearing a nice clean suit, all white, when he came to pick up his motor bicycle. That was my brother. Well, if that was your brother, why are you asking all these questions about him? Gregory! When do you expect to see Gregory again? I don't think Gregory's coming back. I don't get any letters for him now. Uh, it's a long time since I got any letters for him. I'll never see Gregory again. Now, don't forget, close the door behind you. Close, yet so far apart, so strange, how near we get at times to the one that we try to love. Close. A million miles in space And we'll then divide ourselves We're alone All alone Softly In a single moment's passing Warmth is gone, there's no use asking Were we dreaming we were close? <laughs> Sam, it must fade away And only the lingering taste remains of a sweet 
and consuming love softly in a single moment's passing warmth is gone there's no use asking we were dreaming we were close I want uh, the next plane to Rome. Yes. I can check you in on uh, flight 612, but there's a delay of two hours. Okay. Two hours? Yes. All incoming airplanes are late. Your ticket and your boarding card. Thanks. Thank you. I'll have the same, please. the late arrival of the flight 623 from Rome. This flight is now expected at 21.45 hours.
It's vinegar. I thought it was wine. This is the first time you've done anything like this, isn't it? <laughs> it doesn't happen to me every day. We haven't been introduced. What is your name? It's not important. It is to me. Please don't let's talk. My name is... I don't want to know. My name is Günther Neumann. I come from Zürich. I'm studying medicine. Autobahn is just a hobby for me. I have a very intelligent older sister called Lise, whom you would like. She's married to a painter. We always spend Sunday together, the whole family. One day you must meet them. You live in Geneva? Perhaps we can meet again sometime. Sorry if you went all that way for nothing, Gregory. I really am. You told me she definitely wasn't coming to the wedding. No, I didn't. What I said was that uh, with her, you never know. I mean, she always does the opposite of what she's going to. Anyway, I didn't know you'd been phoning from Rome. Look, hang on a minute. Hello, is that you? Dan, who's on the other phone? I am. Danielle, who are you talking to? You. Did you manage to get home all right? Uh, uh, where are you? I'm at the airport. Where, where did you say you were speaking from? I'm at the airport. I just got back from Rome. Your sister wasn't there. Dan, listen, I have to go now. Oh, Katrine. It was for my sake you came, wasn't it? Listen, I... Oh, uh, I don't know why I came. I don't know. Danielle. Danielle, where is she now? Is she in Geneva? I 
Danielle. Danielle. Danielle, where is she now? Danielle, you've got to help me find her. card. left behind nothing remains when dreams have gone so close your eyes and then dream on fly a million miles away on a painted carousel hear the words the children say as they pass a wishing well for a spell Bring a love each day No one can take Love only runs away When you awake Stay where you are and just pretend You know your dream Need never end Stay in your world of fantasy till you Then include me. 